Sunday morning just before 10am. The 7025CW net is about to start. So I'll put this rig on the air and see how successful it really is. This is the transceiver built into a standard zippy box. As I've commonly done in recent projects, it has two tuning controls. One for the transmitter, one for the receiver. The other control is the receiver peaking front end. On the front panel, the transmit receive switch, the receive front end peaking control, the transmit frequency adjust, the receive frequency adjust, the key socket, a netting control, you use that to zero beat incoming signals on the transmit frequency adjustment, that makes you zero beat, and the earphone socket. As I've mentioned on a previous video, this arrangement of using the relay to switch between transmit and receive tuning controls allows you to operate split frequency with any frequency offset. Like with my pocket rig, I'm using a crystal earpiece. They're very sensitive, meaning you don't need as much gain in the audio amplifier. That makes for a simpler circuit and one that draws less power. The rig didn't start out as being on 40 metres. It was first built for 30 metres. It worked reasonably well, but the activity and band conditions are such that I didn't get so many contacts. The 7025CW net has been running for more than 30 years. The idea is there's a net control station who continually calls CQ on 7025. Other stations call him. The net control station verifies the calling stations can hear each other and pairs them off on another frequency. They talk amongst themselves and when finished, if they want to come back for another contact, they come back to the net control station. All this happens between around 10am and noon on Sundays. Now I want to call in to this CW net, so the first thing I do is I need to get myself on frequency. I press the net control and adjust the tuning until I'm zero beat. I can then flip to transmit and make my call. <laughs> 